Today we are trying to raise awareness to the long-standing staffing crisis we've had in the Michigan Department of Corrections. That's Byron Osborne, president of the Michigan Corrections Organization, telling News 10 why corrections officers across the state are lining up along the picket line. It's like prison break of a different kind, hoping to unlock better working conditions. Good evening, I'm David Andrews. And I'm Ann Emmerich. Michigan's corrections officers are usually guarding the gates, and tonight they're making a break for higher pay and increased benefits. News 10's Tania Jordan joins us now in studio with more on this protest about prisons. Ann and David, the Michigan Corrections Organization says they're fighting for higher wages, more benefits, and a better work-life balance. They're asking state lawmakers from both sides of the aisle to return what they say was taken away. And about an hour before you're supposed to go home, you're told you're mandated. And many of those mandates are 16-hour mandates, and that's happening a lot. <laughs> Carrie Johnson is vice president of the Michigan Corrections Organization and a corrections officer at the Cotton Correctional Facility in Jackson. I'm being mandated two or three times a pay period, or excuse me, two or three times a week. State corrections officers on Thursday taking their issues from behind bars <laughs> straight to the picket line in Jackson. We are many years into this um, cycle of not being able to recruit and retain officers. Michigan's Corrections Organization President Byron Osborne says corrections officers like Johnson are fighting for two main issues. First and foremost is the, the physical and mental strain, the uh, exhaustive amount of overtime they're being required to work. Osborne says something that's even more problematic is the staffing crisis and the negative impact that not having enough officers has on facility operations and response times. That minimizes the number of staff we have to respond to incidents. That minimizes the number of officers we have available to cover prisoner activities, such as their yard periods, their day room time, phone time, all the things that uh, they have routinely. In a statement sent to our sister station, WLUC, the Michigan Department of Corrections addressed their officers, saying, We recognize the sacrifices you make to ensure our facilities remain operational while we continue to address staff vacancies. The department went on to say that it is important that we stay on track to get you the support you need to have a better work-life balance. Back to you. All right, Tania, thank you. There are 5,100 corrections officers that oversee roughly 33,000 inmates across 26 Michigan prisons.